Before you start this lesson, you will have needed to download the Red River Valley tabs from the Arrange It program. As we get you started entering the notes in each lesson, we will not take the time to enter all of them. If you print the tabs you downloaded, you'll be able to enter the proper notes as we need them. One of the best ways to learn the tab edit program is to copy tablature from other sources, such as books, magazines, or in this case, the tabs I've made available with Arrange It. We are going to start here by entering the melody line, play back our arrangement, and then save our work for the next lesson. All right, now let's get started putting notes into our tablature. If you were doing this on your own, with your own arrangement, you would probably have your guitar in your hands and you would be playing your arrangement and transferring from your fingers on the neck to the tablature line in the tab edit program. But in this lesson, we're only going to concern ourselves with the program rather than the arranging itself. If we had to deal with how to arrange it and how to use this program, it would just be confusing. We're going to start by putting in the simple melody of Red River Valley. We're going to take our arrow on our keyboard and we're going to move over to the right four spaces. And as you can see by the ruler, we're right in the middle of that measure. And we're going to start Red River Valley by arrowing down to the third string, entering a zero, moving over two more spaces with the arrow key, move up to the next string with the arrow key, enter a one, move over two more spaces, which is going to put us into the second measure, go up to the first string with our arrow keys, enter a zero, move over four spaces, enter another zero, move over two more spaces, enter another zero, go to our third measure, we will enter another zero, go over four spaces, arrow down to the second string, put in a three, move over two spaces, go up one string, and enter a zero, move over to our fourth measure, enter a three on the second string, move over two, and enter a one. Now we've entered our first line of Red River Valley. You notice, since we hadn't chosen any notes up here, our default was on the automatic duration, and as we put these notes in, the computer automatically gave each note the right duration. Let's play this back and see what it sounds like. Now here's something I haven't mentioned before. Instead of taking our cursor and putting it over at the first of the song, every time we hit F12, it will play the tune from the start. So if you just hit F12, watch what happens. This is F12 on the top of your keyboard. Okay, we've got the first line of Red River Valley. Let's continue putting the rest of the tune in and I won't take the time to do that during this lesson. We will just take a look at the completed tablature when I finished doing it. Uh, 
I have finished putting the rest of the main melody into our song. As you can see, it's 16 measures long. Let's go ahead and play this by hitting the F12 key. It'll begin to play from the very start. Let's save what we've already done. If you hit File, click Save, we've already saved everything we've done into our Red River Valley file. In our next lesson, we're going to take this same tune, what we've already created in Red River Valley. I hope you've done the same thing in your program, and we're going to start adding parts to it and this is where we will no longer use the automatic duration but we're going to have to start using the notation manually to get an arrangement to sound exactly the way we want it sound. We'll also be working with our spatial effects palettes over here so we can put spatial effects into our notes that way we will end up with an arrangement which will sound pretty good.